Hi everyone, welcome to Pam Reading Freya. This is going to be monthly reading for everyone under the sign of Pisces. What is important to know for everyone under the sign of Pisces for the month of May? I am open to receive. What is important to know for them? What will help? Pisces, everybody who crosses this path, what is important to know for them? I am open to receive for everyone under the sign of Pisces. I cut the deck and I begin pulling out your cards. We have the hangman, we have the five of wands, we have the eight of wands in the reverse position, we have the eight of pentacles, we have the devil reverse, and we have the four of wands. Okay, one more romance card just to see what is important to know for everyone. What is important to know for everyone under the sign of Pisces, month of May, when it refers to love, love relationships? What is important to know? What is important to bring to the surface and offer to receive for Pisces? I cut the deck and pull one card for you. Okay, heart to heart conversations is what we have. Okay, the first thing I began seeing. Uh, for many of you under the sign of Pisces is that, in, is that in the month of May some of you are going to be waiting for things to resolve or for things to settle or for things to come down. I think many of you Pisces should take this period of time to analyze your feelings and to see also, what areas in your life need the most, the most attention? To me, as many indications that there is a discontent or your relationships are out of balance due to miscommunication. It's highly important for many of you to make the effort into have an open communication, okay? One, some parts of you, okay, for some of you, what I'm feeling is that it's not going to be up to you to resolve um, everything immediately because this situation, I'm just feeling it's out of your hands, okay? You cannot um, hurry it up. You cannot create movement to resolve. You cannot um, see what you can do because I think that this time around, the decision doesn't depend on you or the I'm just feeling the energy like don't do anything. Just wait, cool down, and let, and just maybe obs observe and see how things unfold by themselves. Anything you do, I think, to resolve right now, is not going to move things forward because I can see how um, some of you will have a situation where no one is communicating, okay? This person is doing this and how she thinks is right or how he thinks is right and you are doing your own, your own thing and how you think is right. The parts, either in your relationship or in family matters or in your job um, occupations are out of balance. The disharmony and the uh, miscooperation is not there and you cannot make it be there because I think the only thing that is going to help for many of you is to wait for, I will say, at least four weeks, okay? For at least four weeks, for things to begin feeling different. Because, you know, like when um, something happens, maybe an argument, a disappointment, or a fight, if you sometimes try to resolve that issue immediately, at times it only gets bigger. Because either you are mad and hurt, and the other person or the other people involved 
in the situation are also mad and hurt and it's not solving it's just making it bigger so please please um, leave it at that for now wait this period of time out I know that waiting and leaving things how they are is going to feel to many of you like you are stuck time is moving really slow you are not moving forward, you are not moving back, you're not seeing any changes. And maybe this is beginning to worry you because you're like, okay, it's been two weeks and um, he's still mad or she's still mad. She hasn't contacted me. He's not communicating. He's not open. She is not open to, to resolve or agree in the situation. I also get um, things popping out they can either be annoying or bringing something else to the situation, okay? Okay, right now, it's not a time to expand, expand or grow or implement new things. If you are in business, if you are in, um, in stocks, in the market, I don't know, if you are investing, if you are um, maybe having ideas. How can I get out of this hole or this um, stuck situation in finances? It's not a time to um, put a lot of money to help. The, you think it will help you out. No, it's time to learn new, it's time to learn new things and educate yourself about something that you maybe are not aware of or have not uh, recognized. Many of you, I see, will begin something. This can be a study, uh, something online. Um, maybe this can be also a job or an occupation in which you are not going to know how to handle the situation right away. I can see how it can take you up to eight months to, um, to get the hang of or for you to feel comfortable doing this, or for you to feel like, okay, I know how to do it now, and I'm good at it, okay? So be patient with yourself. Don't try to push things faster, because that, for now, is not going to happen. Um, many of you that have complicated relationships, um, it's um, highly advisable for many of you to face what you are feeling face your fears and by the end of may maybe try to have an open conversation with your partner talking about what you feel unhappy and how you really feel because for many of you that are a pisces ladies your partner is the one that is not willing to communicate he's not he's not a He's not bending. He's strong in his stubbornness and his ego and what he wants. And he will not be um, too willing, okay? But maybe it doesn't matter anymore because the energy by the end of May is beginning to change. And you will have an opportunity to communicate what you really want, what you really feel. Maybe including saying, I'm sorry for acting like that or doing that. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Many of you, I'm feeling some of you have two children and that is something you both have to think about. How is that affecting them or or how the miscommunications and the, and the fights can be affecting them, okay? Because... Um, there is many things that many of you Pisces are going to have to express in order to break their cycles of being okay and then fights again and then it's all these ups and downs and in many ways also break free from once on and for all unhealth unhealthy cycles or unhealthiness they can be in the relationship, okay? Because maybe your partner is stubborn. He wants things how he wants them. And he can be jealous, possessive, and inflexible. 
and maybe it's something that you need to communicate to him um, that for as long as this continue, it's not, the relationship is not going to work out. Many of you will have the opportunity to have this um, this conversation, okay? This um, this times when um, something that really comes from the heart in the relationships that is going to allow you to resolve. Many of you will sit down and face to face um, clarify what happened. Say, I'm sorry. I love you. I feel this for you. Maybe your partner will open up and say, you know what? I do love you and I'm willing to to fix whatever you are telling me now that uh, that is wrong with me. And I'm willing to cooperate and I'm willing to put out a better me. And this is going to change for some of you, 100% the relationship. Um, there is going to be a togetherness, happiness, cooperation. And many of you are going to feel like, okay, now I have all my corners covered. Um, you feel happy, you have emotional support, you have financial support, and you have your children. You see all these things that um, make you feel happy and back into balance. So please, Pisces, many of you, women or men, have that open heart conversation and clarify your feelings and let your partner also talk in expressing what is making her unhappy in the relationship and put your effort to resolve because I can already see that if you do that, if you open up the conversations, if you cooperate, if you communicate, things can turn around for you by the end of the month uh, of May. Okay, so make the effort. Thank you everyone for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you. Um, I mean, I meant to say happy Mars. Mother's Day for all the ones that are Pisces out there. Thank you. Wish you a wonderful day. Bye.